Well, if you haven't heard the news yet, GiftWorks was recently acquired by Frontstream Payments, a leader in the payment processing industry. Through FirstGiving.com, another Frontstream company, they are also a leader in peer-to-peer -peer and event-based fundraising. I know we're excited to be part of a team that's going to be, continue to equip nonprofits everywhere with the tools they need to fundraise and manage their fundraising efforts with great tools like GiftWorks, First Giving, Artez Interactive, and, and more. In GiftWorks 2014, we've brought you some great features as a result of the integration with First Giving. Let me show you how some of it can benefit you. It's real simple to set up GiftWorks to begin to use the First Giving features. Over here on the right hand side, we even give you a reminder that lets you know that you haven't completed the setup of your First Giving integration. And once you do so, you're going to be able to begin to process credit cards inside of GiftWorks, have access to free online donation tools, and more. You can either click the Setup First Giving link, or you can click the Settings button at the top. To get started, I'm going to click the Settings button at the top. I'm going to click on Tools, Updates, and Integration, and I'm going to click the First Giving link at the top. When I'm ready, I can search for my organization's name. So you're going to enter the name of your nonprofit. I'm just going to put the name of mine, which is Testing. I'm going to click the Search button. Now you can, can search by EIN or Tax ID number. And also, if you're an existing First Giving customer, you can also search by your First Giving ID. Once you find your nonprofit in the list of results, you can click the Select link on the right-hand side. Make sure you verify the name of your organization and your address. Then you can click the Select link. Once you click the select link, you're going to be presented with terms and conditions of the service. Make sure you read through the terms and conditions, and if you agree, you can click the Accept Agreement button at the bottom. Once you do that, you've now successfully completed the first part of setting up the integration between GiftWorks and First Giving. It was that simple. And now you're ready to begin processing credit cards right inside of GiftWorks. So as you're entering a donation, you're going to be able to process a visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover card just as you're entering the donation. And we'll do that in just a couple minutes. But there are more features that you can use with GiftWorks and First Giving as well. Now, to use those features, you're going to have to have a First Giving account. And if you're already a First Giving customer, then you have access to all the great First Giving features like peer to peer fundraising, event based fundraising, and more. And you can just come here and enter in your First Giving username, password, and PIN and that'll unlock the advanced features inside of GiftWorks. Now to unlock those advanced features but you don't have a First Giving account, well no worries, you can set up your own free First Giving account. And you can just click this link here to set up your free account. Once you do that, it's gonna open up a window and you can either click that link or go to firstgiving.com slash GiftWorks and click the sign up button here and that'll take you through a very, a very quick four step process to, uh, to get uh, a free First Giving account. Uh, and you can just provide basically your contact information, find your nonprofit in a list, confirm your nonprofit's information, and then provide your banking details. Now once we receive this information, uh, we're gonna verify the information is accurate, and then we're going to uh, activate your free First Giving account, and you'll be notified by email that your free First Giving account is active. Now, once I do that, I can come here, I can enter in the username, password, and PIN of my free uh, First Giving account. And don't forget, if you are an existing First Giving uh, customer, you can go ahead and just put in your First Giving username, password, and PIN. And once you're all set, you can click the Verify button. And when you do that, you've now successfully uh, enabled the First Giving Advanced features here inside of GiftWorks. And there are three advanced First Giving features that you've now enabled. The first one is the ability to set up your Donate Now page. So the page that you use to collect donations from your donors through your website or social media, you can make customizations to it to, uh, to make sure that it matches how you want the, to collect donations. The second thing you have access to is actually the button code and the link to be able to put on your website or to use in an email or on your social media. And lastly, you can download donations into GiftWorks. So we give you the ability for any of those donations you've collected online, you're now going to be able to download those with just a few clicks into GiftWorks. No more double entry, no more having to re-enter donations that you've received uh, from, uh, from your donors online or through, uh, through your emails and things like that. And so you're going to be able to do that as well. So let's go through each one of those. So the first advanced feature that I can use is this ability to set up the Donate Now page. So I'm going to click here to set up the Donate Now page. Once I do that, a window is going to open up that I can set up the Donate Now page. Now, this is the page that I'm going to be using to collect donations through my website and through social media and so on. And you can actually see it. Let me close this quickly. And you can click this link down here under Add a Link to Your Emails to preview what it's going to look like. So if you click on this link right here, it's going to open up. 
and you'll see this is the page right here that I'm using. So I have a logo here, I have my organization's name, uh, I have some giving levels here to find and go through and to collect all the credit card information, the ability to make the donation. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that and I'm gonna click here to set up my Donate Now page. So I can make customizations to that. Uh, so if I click there, and a uh, window is going to open up that's going to allow me to make customizations like you'll see my logo here now you can remove it and change it with a different logo you simply click here to select your logo I uh, click on my logo right here and you'll notice my logo is right here you can put your organization name and your mission or goal here as well you can also define down at the bottom it says would you like to would you like multiple giving levels you notice that I had the bronze silver and gold level set up with five fifty and a hundred dollars if you don't if you want the donor just to have to enter in a single amount meaning just the you know an amount of the donation you can just turn that off I'm gonna keep my my levels that it does allow them to choose five fifty or a hundred dollars in this case or they can just type in another amount and you'll see a donor will have the ability to choose uh, either one of the giving levels or enter a donation amount of their own. Uh, so you can choose uh, how you want to present the, the amounts offered to the donor. You also have some advanced features here. If I click on show, I'll see some of those advanced features like inviting the donor to pay the transaction fee. So do you want them to uh, be presented with an amount that will cover the amount to, to process this donation? Um, would you also would like to invite them to make a recurring donation? So with, if they'd like to turn their single gift into a monthly gift, a quarterly gift and so on they can do that as well you can also send a notification email so if you want to be notified uh, that a donation has been made you can just enter in an email address and you can see that and you can also enter in a customized thank you email um, or customized uh, customized text for your thank you email that will be sent to the donor again when I'm all set I can simply click the save settings down at the bottom and when I save those settings now my settings are all saved and I can just close this window so now I've set up my Donate Now button. Now what I need to do is I need to put that Donate Now button on my website. So let me go over and I'll show you real quick. I have my Care About Community website right here. It's real simple. doesn't contain much. Um, so I'm going to go over and I'm going to bring up my code. Now if you're not comfortable with doing this, some of you may or may not be comfortable with doing it, um, of taking this code, copying it, and putting it out on your website. But I'm going to show you real quickly how you can do it. So I'm just going to click here, highlight the uh, the. Uh, highlight the text right here. I'm going to press control C on my keyboard to copy it. And then I'm going to go over to my website code, which is right here. If you're not familiar with this, that's okay. For some of you who are a little bit more techy, you may be a little bit more comfortable with this, but I'm going to go ahead and paste this code right here. And I'm going to save this page. Now, if I go back to my website and I refresh it, you're going to see that I have now have a donate now button. If I click on donate now, it's going to bring up the, the page that we just configured with my uh, logo, with my organization name, with the giving levels, and so on. Uh, now, depending on the kind of uh, browser they have or the kind of size they have, whether they're using a phone or whether they're using a full-size computer, the page might present itself a little bit differently, but it's going to provide them all the basic information to enter a donation. And so you can enter in the amounts, your, their information, uh, scrolling down, uh, the the um, credit card information, the billing address, and so on, and they can go ahead and make the donation. Now we'll do that in just a couple minutes, but I wanted you to see how easy it is to add that Donate Now button uh, to your website. Now you can also do things like, if I go back, you, we also had, so we had this, donate, this uh, donation button code right here, uh, but we also have this link right here, and you can just highlight this link if you'd like um, and copy that, and then you can use that to send out in emails, or you could put it on your website as well. So if they click on that link, whether it be in an email or maybe you post it on social media, you put it on your Facebook wall or things like that, they're going to have access to that same Donate Now page to be able to give to you. Well, now I want to actually begin to use some of the things that we've enabled here in Giftworks in the first giving integration. First thing I want to do is we're going to go enter a credit card donation. So we're going to enter a credit card donation right inside of Giftworks uh, as we're entering a donation. The second thing I want to do is I want to download donations into Giftworks, ones that you've received through your Donate Now page, through your website, and through your social media and more. So let's head over to our donors, and we're going to right-click on my donor and click on Add a Donation. I'm going to enter a donation amount of a dollar, and I'm going to choose a payment type. Now, I'm not going to choose credit card. Credit card would be used if I was going to enter an offline credit card donation, but I'm going to choose the first giving credit card. That's going to allow me to not only enter the donation, but to process the credit card as well. I'm going to click Next, and GiftWorks is going to show me a credit card processing form. I'm going to enter in credit card information. 
and the email address. This email address is for the donor so that they can receive uh, an, a notification that their credit card has been charged. I'm going to enter in the address and the zip code. Once I do that, I can click on process credit card. And then for those of you who are curious, this is a fully PCI compliant credit card form. And I'm going to click on process credit card to submit that for processing. Once I do that, Giffords is going to allow me to continue the add a donation process. So I'm going to continue on choosing the options for my donations, choosing the acknowledgement and receipting options for the donation. And I'm going to be able to enter additional information about this donation. And then I'm going to click the Save button at the bottom. Now, I've not only entered the donation in for Steve Faithful, but I've also processed the credit card at the same time. If I needed to, I could void this credit card payment by clicking this link right here. And just like that, not only, not only have I set up Giftworks to be able to receive and process credit cards, but I've also actually run a credit card or processed a credit card as part of, ent of adding a donation. Well, let's take a look at the other capabilities you have included with your first giving integration with Giftworks, and that is the ability to collect donations online and then download those donations easily into Giftworks. So let's go over to our website. So this is our website with our Donate Now button on that we put earlier. Now with that Donate Now button, donors are able to go to your website and click on the Donate Now button and to enter in donation information. So let's go ahead and enter a gift like a donor would. So in this case, they're being invited to pay the transaction fee. I'm going to say no, I don't wish to do that and I'm not going to make it recurring. But I am going to put in my information and I'm going to put in my, e the donor's going to put in their email address. And I'm going to continue. I'm going to put in my credit card information. And I'm going to put in my security code, put in my address. And 17603. I put all my information in necessary to enter the donation. I'm going to click on make a donation. And now it's going to go ahead and submit this donation or process the donation. Just like a donor would, they go to your website, they click on your donate now button. This also may be a link in an email that they click on the link in your email. And now you'll see that the donation has been successfully process. Now, this donation has been uh, received. Um, it's going to be, uh, the payment will be sent to you as the nonprofit uh, in the next week or so. Uh, but, uh, but what we need, need to do now is this donation is not in Giftworks. So instead of having to go over and enter it into Giftworks manually, we're just going to want to be able to download this donation into Giftworks without having to enter it again. So let's go back to Giftworks. So we're back over here in Giftworks, and now we're going to go to our the donation uh, section of Giftworks by clicking the donation button on the left-hand side. There's an option to download from First Giving. So let's click on Download from First Giving, and it's going to go out and see if there's any new donations to download. This is a five-step process, which you'll go through and you'll check to see if there's any donations to download, verify some transactions, choose your options, download the transactions, and finish up. So we see we have one new transaction to download, and I'm going to go through this process. We'll see that this is a $5 donation from Steve Faithful that I made online, and I'll see the information. Now you'll notice that there's a matching option here that it's actually going to go and find to see if there's any donors in Giftworks that match this donor already. So it did find Steve in there already. Now I do have some options here for matching the donations. I could, for matching to the donor, I could always add a new donor if I wanted to. If I knew this wasn't an existing donor, I could do that. Or I could select an existing donor if I knew specifically who it was. But I'm going to let Giftworks decide, and it does find automatically the donor in question, the donor that I think it should be. Then at the bottom, you can see the details of this donation. And I can go ahead and click on Next. Now I can choose some options. I'm going to choose the fund that I want this donation to be attributed to. I'll just say this is the general care fund and the campaign, perhaps a specific campaign that uh, prompted this gift. I'll just call this the general care campaign. And the specific appeal, maybe it just was something like, uh, I'll just say this was our uh, website donations. So I'm adding a new appeal. And so I can choose some other options around, around receiving and some other options to add these people to a mailing list. Once I've selected my options, I can click Next. Now I can download these donations, download this donation. So I can download it, and I'll see that it's downloaded. It's been downloaded into Giftworks. And now I have a little summary that I can see what's been done. So if I click on Finish here at the bottom, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to actually look at, I can see this $5 donation right here, but I'm going to go back to my donors. 
I'm going to double click on Steve right here, go over to his donations tab, and I'll see that he's got a $5 gift that just came in from my online donation. So just like that, I was able to enter the donation. A donor was able to go to your website, give online, and then that donation is available to be downloaded into GiftWorks that you can go in, uh, download at the end of a day, the end of a week, download those donations that have been received uh, from your donors online through your website, social media, and more. And you can download those into GiftWorks without having to re-enter those donations. And it's real simple. There's a few other things that I want to mention about the first giving integration with GiftWorks. Let's go take a look. We hope that you'll get started right away using the GiftWorks and First Giving integration and want you to know a few things. First, that the transaction fee for processing credit cards inside of GiftWorks and receiving donations online using your Donate Now page is only 4.25%. Also, if you're not already a First Giving customer, make sure that you create your free First Giving account. And then you're going to be able to customize and use your Donate Now page to be able to collect donations through your website, social media, and emails. And then you're going to be able to download those donations you do receive into GiftWorks with only a few clicks. Also, when setting up your first giving account, you're going to provide us with your banking information. And with that banking information, you're going to receive your payments once a week deposited into your account. And also, if you are interested in peer-to-peer -peer and event-based fundraising, let us know. Talk to us and we can let you know about the, the other first giving products and services that can help you with your fundraising. So thanks for taking time to watch this video about the GiftWorks and First Giving integration. We hope that this integration enables you to, to do more fundraising, to raise more, to raise it more easily, and to be able to use these tools to maximize your fundraising and ultimately accomplish your mission. Thanks for watching.